Hey guys, it's Battle Mode. Today I want to talk about stats. Strength, agility, vitality, intelligence, dexterity, and luck are your primary stats in Ragnarok, and each of them has their uses. I tend to shorten the names of vitality to vit, intelligence to int, and dexterity to dex, so you'll hear me say those a lot. What I want to do is go over each stat individually and bring to light absolutely everything that it does in the game every scenario in which the stat might come into play, and what to consider when building your character. There are a lot of numbers involved, so if that's your thing, feel free to grab a pencil and take some notes. Here we go. First up is Strength. Some say that Strength is the primary damage stat of swordsmen, thieves, and merchants. Forget all that nonsense. Strength is the primary damage stat of these weapon types, regardless of which class is wielding it. It's important to know this distinction because, for example, thieves are known for using daggers, but thieves are also capable of wielding a bow, and when a thief wields a bow, his damage is no longer determined by strength, but dex. So what does strength actually do? Let's start simple. This is what strength looks like in the game. The first number, 48, is what we call my base strength. It's the number of points I've invested into strength through level ups. The second number, 2, is what we call my bonus strength. It's the sum of all strength granted to me by other effects, such as job bonuses, skills, buffs, and equipment. My total strength is just my base strength and my bonus strength added together, in this case 50. So how high can it go? The maximum possible base value of any stat is 99. We can never invest more than 99 strength through level ups. Bonus strength, however, is not capped and it is not unusual to see bonus strength values of 40 or more on a fully equipped, fully buffed character. Strength increases the attack value, and attack is used to calculate damage. With a strength-based weapon equipped, for every one point of strength, we get plus one attack. Additionally, every time our total strength reaches an increment of 10, we get an amount of attack determined by this formula. This is called the strength bonus. Every time we hit one of those 10 strength checkpoints, it increases the amount of attack granted by the next 10 strength checkpoint. Simply put, the more strength we get, the more rewarding strength becomes. This is why strength characters like to push their strength as high as possible, well into the hundreds. Strength also increases attack with ranged weapons, but only a little bit. With a ranged weapon, for every 5 points of strength, we get 1 attack. But strength has more to offer than damage. For every 1 point of strength, we get plus 30 to our maximum weight limit. Weight limit determines how much weight we can carry at any given time, and thus how many items we can carry. While our weight limit is 50% of its maximum or more, we suffer a debuff that prevents us from regenerating HP or SP naturally. By naturally, it's referring to the passive regeneration that every character enjoys while standing still or sitting, including effects that boost this natural regeneration such as Swordsman's Increased HP Recovery or Priest's Magnificat. While our weight limit is 90% of its maximum or more, the debuff gets even worse and prevents us from using skills or even attacking. A higher weight limit will raise the threshold for these debuffs, allowing us to hold more items without going overweight. Some specialized builds that don't even use strength may find themselves investing in some strength to help them carry more items. However, be aware that weight limit is gained through base strength. Bonus strength granted through buffs, skills, or equipment will not increase your weight limit. Some items and effects in the game check your strength more directly. If you plan to use any of them, just make sure to get enough strength to meet their requirements. To recap, every one strength gives one attack and 30 weight limit. Every tenth strength gives a lot of attack. Every fifth strength gives one ranged attack. While we're on the subject of physical damage, I'll move into part two, dexterity. 